Hi, everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Let me have a seat, guys. Everybody, I am back. Jeannie Young is back in that kitchen. And today, today I'm going to show you all how to make a beautiful carbonara. Have you ever heard of carbonara? Have you ever tasted it? Let me know in the comment section below. Carbonara is an Italian dish that requires very few ingredients. It's pungent in flavor. It's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna show you all how quick and simple this can be made. This dish right here, this dish right here is definitely something you wanna make for your loved one, your sweetie, your family, your friends, your mom, dad, grandmom, and grandpa. Make it for everybody that you know. Okay, so let me tell you the ingredients. What you're gonna need is you will need Parmesan cheese, and you will need thin spaghetti. I'm going to use garlic, but I'm gonna show you a trick that I'm gonna do with the garlic, okay? Because the garlic is not traditional. You don't have to use the garlic, but hey, Jeannie Young is gonna do a Jeannie Young style. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that garlic. You will need guanciale. Guanciale is this thick cut meat here. And let me show you what the slices look like. The slices are much thicker than bacon. It's nice and thick. And it's the jowl part, the jowl part of the pork. You're gonna need that. If you can't find one chowly, then by all means you can use um, pancetta. Or if you can't find pancetta, then you can resort to using bacon. But um, what I suggest, if you can't find the jowl, the uh, guanciale or the pancetta, go to a meat market. I'm sure you'll find it there. We're gonna use three eggs. And what I want you to do is at least take your eggs out a half an hour ahead of time so they can come up to room temperature because they make this dish much better when you let them set at room temperature rather than taking them straight out of the refrigerator and putting them into your dish. So with the three eggs, we're gonna use two whole eggs. In the third egg, we're gonna use just the pure egg yolk, okay? Now, you're gonna need a lot of cracked black pepper. You need lots of cracked black pepper in this dish. It makes it absolutely amazing. And then you all that know me, you know that I love to use parsley on absolutely everything. Parsley is not gonna give it flavor. It's just gonna make it nice and beautiful. Now, I wanted to first off, start off by telling each and every one of you, thank you so much. Thank you all for the prayers for my loved one, my family member that was in the really bad car accident. I appreciate, I've read each and every one of your messages. I appreciate it. I haven't been able, I've been so busy. I honestly just haven't been able to message you all. That's why I just press the heart and give you, you know, the thumbs up because I've been so busy. But I have read them. I'm taking in all of the prayers. I believe all of your prayers. And I know that there is a God. Absolutely, and there's a God watching over my family member and taking care of my family member as we speak. Thank you all for all of the love that you've given me during this time in my life. Thank you all so much. Now, let's get started. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do, during this um, video, I will give you an update on my family member and let you know how they're doing, okay? So that'll be sometime during this video. Meet me over at my stove. Let's get busy. Let's make some carbonara. Okay, everyone, so we have all of our ingredients set up. You will need a large frying pan, okay? and you will need some salt and the salt will be just to salt your water that you're going to boil your noodles in anytime you make noodles you always want to salt your water okay that's the only time we're going to use salt during this recipe just to salt the water for the cooking process of the noodles now once this comes up to a boil we'll throw our noodles in and our noodles will only cook for 11 minutes 11 minutes is going to give you that perfect noodle it's not going to be smushy it's going to be nice and al dente and what al dente is is chewy to the tooth 
That's how your noodles should always be. 11 minutes, you got the perfect noodles. Now, I'm just gonna salt this water here. That's all we're gonna need for that large amount of water. Once this comes up to a boil, we'll start on our beautiful noodles, okay? So then, let's go ahead and start to chop up our beautiful guanciale. Let me, now you can get a good visual of what this thick cut guanciale looks like. Sometimes when you purchase it, it's not already sliced. See that there? And it has a nice amount of fat on it. You want that fat. And it has a little bit of a rind to it as well. I don't know if you can see that very well. Okay? So we want to chop this up into small pieces. And it doesn't have to be too small. Really as big as you want it. But you wanna to try to make sure that all pieces are the same size so that they can cook at the same time. You don't want for some of your guanciale to be cooked and the other still, you know, still cooking. So you make sure it's all the same size. Okay, let's see. I hope that you all are having a great day today and I hope that you all enjoyed your holiday. Anybody do anything special for the 4th of July? Let me know in the comment section below. A lot of you tell me what you do for holidays and things like that and I read the comments and it's so interesting all of the different things that people do, you know, for the holidays. I like to hear that. Okay, I'm just gonna continue. I think I'm gonna do these two pieces and then I'll save this. I'll use this guanciale for the next time I make green beans, you know, or the next time I make a, a pot of navy beans or something. That can be used for so much flavor. Put it in, like I said, put it in a nice pot of green beans, and I tell you one thing, boy, do you have some good flavor. This right here is so flavorful, my goodness. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, we're just about done cutting this, and then I'll wash my hands off. Because anytime you're working with, you know, raw meats, you always wanna wash your hands because you do not want to transfer bacteria to your other ingredients okay and it's okay for the garlic to be right here and the reason why is because we're gonna cook the garlic right along with this guanciale so let's put our guanciale in the pan just like so I'm gonna turn this pan onto a medium high heat, okay? I'm going to wash this. I'm going to wash my hands as well. When I come back, I'll show you the next step. Okay, everybody, so our guanciale is starting to cook down and you're going to get some nice oil from this guanciale. Now, if you have a really, really fatty guanciale, you'll get a lot of the oil. We're gonna use some of that oil for this cooking process, but not all of it. If you have too much oil, you can just take a paper towel and kind of sop up the extra oil that's in your pan. But during this process, I'm gonna show you just how much oil you will use. And the rest, like I said, you can sop it up with a paper towel, or you can pour it into some type of um, a bowl and save it for later, okay? Just like you would save bacon grease. All right, so while that's going, I'm gonna show you how to make our beautiful sauce. The reason why I washed the whisk is because I had the whisk on the cutting board with my guanciale. So when I went over to wash my hands, I washed my whisk as well. Here's how we're gonna do this. This is the sauce. This right here is the secret. It's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely amazing two whole eggs, beautiful, beautiful eggs, 
And then this one here, we're just going to use the yolk. And this is how personally, how I like to do mines. I just let the whites fall off out the shell. Okay, and you can give them a little bit of help. Okay, see how they automatically just fall out? And then you're left with that beautiful yolk and the whites are here, okay? So then you can save your whites and make a white egg white omelet in the morning. Okay, it's really up to your discretion. Okay, now I have one third cup that we're gonna use for our Parmesan or your Pecorino. Whichever cheese you would like to use would be just fine. And I'm gonna use one third plus just a little extra, okay? And here's the thing about the cheese. Use as much cheese as you would like to use, okay? There's one third cup, and here's a little bit extra. Just a little bit extra just because I wanna, all right? And at the end, once we mix everything together, if you wanted to throw some Parmesan on top, absolutely you can. All right, and now what you're going to do is you're going to take, well, let me show you the guanciale. The guanciale is cooking up just beautifully, and my water's almost come to a boil. As soon as that water comes to a boil, we're going to throw our noodles in just like so. Beautiful. Okay, it'll start to get nice and golden brown just like bacon does. All right, let's go ahead and give this a stir. Now, there are some people, when they make carbonara, they put cream. They put heavy whipping cream, or they'll put milk in theirs. I think it's interesting, but guess what? No cream belongs in carbonara. If you make it right, it'll be nice and creamy. If you do this technique the right way, it's going to be nice and creamy. And I'm going to show you how to get this sauce right here, nice and creamy. It's going to be velvety, and it's amazing taste. You hear me? I'm talking about this taste is out of this world, honey child. Ooh You're going to whip this up really good. Whip you some nice air into those eggs. Whip it, baby. Mm-hmm. Just like this. Okay, and now that you have this, well, make sure it's well incorporated. Make sure that the whites is well incorporated into that egg yolk, okay? You don't want any separate egg whites, okay? So take your time, whip some air in there, get those egg whites well incorporated. Beautiful, that's what it should look like. Now you want to put some nice cracked black pepper in there, and we're not just gonna put a little bit in there because a nice amount belongs in the recipe, okay? And later, we'll put even more pepper in if I feel like we need so. Okay? Beautiful. Now, this can set aside. You don't have to set it in the refrigerator. You can just set it on your counter while you're waiting on your noodles to cook and your guanciale to cook up. This guanciale looks absolutely amazing, and it smells good, too. You hear me? Woo-wee, it smells good. Okay, so my water has came to a boil. Let's go ahead and throw our noodles in. Now, some people say, uh, you gonna put oil in your noodles? You know, honestly, sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. You really don't need the oil, you know? Really, you don't. Okay, we're just gonna put it in just like that. Let it fall where it may. And here in a second, we're gonna go in, we're gonna give it a nice stir, so that our noodles don't stick together and they cook nice and evenly. Now your noodles will start to wilt down just like they're doing. And there's no need to, sometimes there's people that put their spaghetti in and they break it. No need to do that. No need to do that. Okay? Let's just stir this around, like I said, just a little so that your thin spaghetti does not stick. 11 minutes is all we're going to need on that. I can't stress it enough. 11 minutes is going to be that perfect temperature for your noodles. All right, back over at the beautiful guanciale. I'm telling you all one thing. You all never made this before. Honey, you better make you some. 
Absolutely you should. If you don't make you any, you are truly missing out. Now that I'm almost at 300,000 subscribers, do not forget each and every one of you. Don't forget that I'm going to be doing a giveaway. And I'm not going to be giving away just any old thing. I'm going to give away something very nice to three people. Something that I would like as well. And if I would like it, I'm sure that you all would like it as well. But you have to be able to answer some trivia questions. In order to do that, you have to watch the channel. You have to scour through my videos. See what I'm talking about in my videos. You know, I might talk about my childhood, family members, um, you know, different things, uh, pet peeves, and all kinds of stuff. In each and every one of my videos, I talk about different things. And those are going to be some of the trivia questions that I ask you. So, never worry if you are a new subscriber because... The trivia question could be something that I said two days ago. Or it can be something that I say today. Or it can actually be something that I said the first day that I started my channel. You never know. But feel free to check through all my videos so you can see what Gina Young is talking about. So you can answer those trivia questions. So you can be a winner to Gina Young's giveaway. 300,000 subscriber giveaway. Absolutely. You can be a winner. I appreciate you all for watching. Once again, I thank you all for prayers. I appreciate everyone who sub supports and subscribes to my channel. Thank you all. So our Gwen Chally is cooking up just beautifully. And honestly, let me come a little closer. I don't have a whole lot of oil, which is great. We'll see how it turns out once the Gwen Chally is fully cooked. But this is the oil. This is the amount of oil that we're going to need. Hopefully, I don't have to take a lot of oil out of here. I'm going to stir our noodles up. They're doing just beautiful, just like so. My goodness. -wee. It's smelling good in here. So my husband asked me this morning, he said, Honey, 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 I got to get you out of the house, baby. And he said, do you want to go to the zoo? And I said, no. He said, do you want to go out to dinner? And I said, no. He said, do you want to go to the water park? And I said, no. He said, well, what do you want to do? <laughs> I'm trying to get you out of the house. I said, I want to do a cooking video. You know, because I've been, we've been in the hospital day and night. Every single day we've been in the hospital. And I said, you know what I want to do? I said, I want to do a cooking video. So here I am. I'm doing my cooking video, and cooking is what makes me happy. You know, cooking releases, you know, it releases stress, it calms me, and it makes me feel good, and I enjoy doing this. I enjoy sharing my gift from God with you all, and right now I'm having the time of my life. Hey, everybody, let me give you all a close-up of the guanciale and what it should start to look like. See that nice, beautiful golden brown color and i'm gonna let it get a little bit more golden brown beautiful we have the perfect amount of oil in there that you're going to need for this dish our noodles are just about done okay so here's the interesting part if you hear something in the background it's just i have a little bit of water on in the background that's right here here's what we're going to do with that garlic throw two whole pieces of garlic in and you cook that garlic and you let that garlic get infused into that oil. And that garlic infused oil is gonna make for an amazing taste onto this pasta. You don't have to cook it long. All that you're gonna do is you're gonna cook that garlic until you can start to smell it very prevalent. Once you can smell it, and make sure that you take this garlic out before it gets golden brown. Because once it starts to get too dark, It'll turn your whole dish very sour. And you don't want that. Just keep it in until it starts to smell. Okay? So that's the special thing. Since garlic does not belong in this recipe, but I do want that garlic infused oil. Absolutely I do. We do it this way. 
Okay, so at this moment, we're gonna go ahead and take the garlic out. The garlic has done its job. It's let off so much of its beautiful flavor into that oil, okay? So then, the next thing that we're gonna do, let's go ahead and drain our beautiful noodles and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's what your guanciale should look like. You see that amount of oil that's in there? It's not too much. It's just enough to where we can coat our noodles in that garlic flavored guanciale oil, okay? The noodles are done, let's get down to business. Okay everybody, so I was gonna tell you, I told you all I was gonna tell you about my loved one. And my loved one that was in the car accident was Tariq, our son. And I'm gonna tell you all a little more, but I just heard my husband and Dion and Tori and Dakota, they all just pulled up. So you might see them moving in the background. Um, but Tariq was ejected out of his car and he has suffered a lot of injuries. But the reason why I can smile today, cause listen here, honey, God is good. And what does Gina Young always say? No weapons formed against the young family shall prosper. And we bind the devil away from this family. We bind the devil away from this family. And Jesus has protected Tariq so much. For somebody that was ejected out of the car, they should have been dead. Tariq will live. Tariq is okay, and Jesus has his arms around Tariq, honey. Do you hear me? Jesus has his arms around Tariq. They said within a day or two days, he will be off the ventilator. He does have some broken ribs and a lacerated liver, and he had a, a lung collapse, but he's doing okay. He's waking up. He is following commands, squeezing hands, nodding his head and things like that. They are um, reducing his sedation so that he can wake up and sleep on his own and um, his pain medicine has changed. They did open his stomach up um, the other night to check all of his organs and make sure everything was okay and everything came back good listen here there is a god and that's who i always pray to and i always say and i have to say it again no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper my family is protected my household is protected in jesus name thank you all once again for your prayers i love you all so much you hear me and i have something to say to that old, to that old ugly devil 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 you can't win. Devil, you can't win in the young family. You have no authority over this family. The great thing is Tariq doesn't have a scratch on his face. His brain and his head did not get touched. His arms are fine. His legs are fine. His spine is fine. And God is always good. You hear me? God is always good. Now let's get back to our dish, carbonara. We keep the oil because the oil is the perfect amount. I kept some of the um, water from the pasta because that's what's going to make it nice and creamy. That's going to prevent you from wanting to put cream or milk in your dish. So here's what you do. You put your pasta in just like so. Ooh, I tell you that pasta hot, baby. Okay. Put you some pasta in, and then we're going to take, and you want to coat the oil all over this pasta. Get the guanciale and that garlic flavored oil all over your pasta just like so. Before you go any further, before you go any further, coat it with that oil. Coat it with the guanciale just like so making sure that you take your pan off of the burner your burner should be off okay because if you if you think you're going to mix this up with the burner on you're going to turn out with scrambled eggs and we don't want scrambled eggs we want for this beautiful eggs to turn into a sauce when it hits this hot oil and this noodles and guanciale it's going to turn into a beautiful sauce watch me now Watch me right now. Get all that goodness out of there, and then you just wanna mix it up just like so. And we're gonna do just that. And then, how we're gonna make for the cream. 
Oh my goodness, listen here. This right here is definitely something you want to ride home about. Mm, mm, mm. Take you some of that pasta water, you throw it right in there, and that's going to give you that creamy consistency. Once it mixes, that warm water, once it mixes with that egg. Ooh, -wee. and listen here, you got some good cooking right here. Y'all never had this before, you better make you some. You better make you some. This right here is a winner for sure. Ooh, wee it's done. It's good, and I cannot wait to dig in. But before, you want to put some more cracked black pepper on there. Get you some on there. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to use that pepper. There we go. Get it on there. You need the pepper. Pepper goes in this dish and a lot of it. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's grab my plate. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Parsley is not traditional. It's just for a little bit of color for me. Just like this. Get you some parsley in there. Hey. Okay, so let's plate this up. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. Lord, we thank you for this food that we are about to receive. All your blessings, your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Thank you, Jesus, for feeding us this meal today. The roof over our head, protecting Tariq. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's dig in, guys. I'm going to let you all know what this tastes like. You all can have the first bite. Look at this. This right here is supposed to be nice and creamy just like it is. That sauce should never have to use cream because there's so many people that think that carbonara needs cream and it doesn't. As long as you use that hot water from the noodles, that egg and that cheese along with the pepper, you have an amazing dish. Try that right there. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. That dish right there is amazing. And here's what I love about it. Try it. Try it with the garlic. The garlic makes a multitude difference. Absolutely amazing. Let's give this another try. This right here, whoo, this is good. You better make you some. Mmm, doggone it, that's good. If y'all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Gina Staff!